Getting into nursing school can feel overwhelming, but what if I tell you that there are proven ways and strategies to make yourself stand out? Stay tuned. I personally hate the statement, stop complaining because you know exactly what you are getting yourself into. Oftentimes, nurses truly don't know what they're getting themselves into. So for this reason, you need to consider a few things before going to nursing school. Today, I'm here to enlighten your darkness. If you have a family member, friend, or acquaintance, and they want to become a nurse in Jamaica specifically, but overall, share this video with them. I'ma drop some real gems. that you're qualified by meeting all the requirements for nursing school which i will attach here so i did four screenshots and this is the total information if you want more you can go to nursing council of jamaica's website and look at the requirements so they tell you what you need in terms of subjects and what those subjects are and they even talk about having gce cxc and cape so take a good look Next, you want to focus on what nursing programs are available. Do you want to be an enrolled assistant nurse? Do you want to become a registered nurse? Do you want to become a registered midwife? So here are your options. For registered nurses, you go to the Nursing Council of Jamaica website and they will tell you what approved schools and the requirements. Same for the enrolled assistant nurse. I've also added a screenshot, put in a collage three times about the approved programs. So they tell you the schools, Excelsior Community College, etc. that you can apply to. And I want you to pay special attention to the part where it says the council has not approved any school of nursing or midwifery to offer part-time programs in nursing and or midwifery. How you can apply to any of these schools? You type in their name in Google and then you go to their website. Most times there's an online application. If not, call the school, ask them how they can apply. And then you do your application and ensure you're ready for your interview. How do I prepare for my interview? One way to prepare is ensure that you are appropriately attired in professional wear. And here's a tip for my ladies. If you can wear heels, it doesn't have to be a six inch heel. That is not recommended. Maybe four inches, two inches, three inches. But let it have a little distance between your heel and the floor. It speaks of a woman who is more accustomed to a professional environment. Believe me, it works. Also, at the end of your interview, they will ask if you have any questions. One that I think is bulletproof is what are your expectations of me? And most times they tell you that they tell you everything and then the interview ends, at least you ask something. There are required documents that you must have for this interview. Ensure that you gather your documents and they are organized. Don't show up searching and digging for things. Ensure you have everything in good order. You can also go online and look at common questions asked at a nursing interview. For example, example one that I know is uh, what is the role of a nurse essentially the role of a nurse is to do for the patient what they cannot do for themselves right most persons say it's to care for the patient essentially yes but what if they're able to care for themselves then what would you be doing there right so essentially it's to do for the patient what they cannot do for themselves on the day of the interview especially if you do not know where you're going ensure that you leave home with adequate time so that if you make mistakes you can recover and still be on time or early for your interview or at least be there especially if you take public transportation at least 15 to 30 minutes before so you can cool off from the heat because Jamaica is very hot so ensure that you are poised you're not sweating excessively your clothes is not dampened with sweat if it is give yourself enough time that you can cool off on the day of the interview ensure that you exercise patience sometimes interviewers will do little strategies to see how your patience is for example they'll let you wait an hour after telling your interview is at eight you begin at nine they want to see how you handle certain situations so sometimes these little things or inconveniences are tests so i recommend on the day of your interview don't make appointments one or two hours after 
give the entire if it's a morning interview the entire morning for the interview if it's the afternoon give the entire afternoon for the interview so that's it for this week's video in our nursing series stay tuned next week for our video bye